up? It's your boy Heaven Hollywood back on IE Network. This is the Heaven Hollywood Report, and let's get to it. So we're going to start off with my girl, Carissa. And Carissa, I tried to be there for you. I told you you need to come home. But it looks as though Carissa is out on the yacht, on the love yacht with Diddy and his family. Diddy's girls out there, his, you know, his daughters. I think he's got all three daughters. But I think it's the actual Combs family vacation. And Carissa's on the yacht out there with Diddy and the rest. So um, she looked like she's happy. <laughs> uh, you see some pictures here of her on the yacht. You know, it, this was your out. This was your chance right here, Carisha. So you went back, you know, to on the love yacht. Uh, anything after this, and you can't really complain. Because as my mother said, you must love it because you're not doing nothing about it. So that's uh, Carisha back with love. I don't know what type of conversation they had, but looks like they're back at it again. Moving on to Drizzy Drake. And I just want people to give me, I'm going to give people an opportunity. I saw a post on, in case you didn't know, uh, basically making fun of, uh, not making fun of, but, you know, making a joke about Drake um, giving Nelly Furtado and everybody COVID. And people were commenting, still saying, that he doesn't even really have it. <laughs> or, oh, you really think Drake has COVID? Oh, you're, you're so gullible. LOL. Cry in emoji. So, my thing is this. I already made my video on it. So, I want people, in there, and there were some people in my comments saying the same thing. Tell me. All right? Because you're not just going to come and say, oh, Drake don't really have COVID. Stay woke. Okay, so you tell me. You give me your logical explanation for Drake uh, canceling a concert, a, a festival that he stands to lose probably millions of dollars because he did not have the show, only to reschedule it for another day. All right? It's not even like he's canceling, he's postponing. So if Drake doesn't have COVID, I want you to put in the comments why he canceled that show. There's a lot of you saying he doesn't really have COVID. So you're going to need to give, you just can't say that. You just can't eat a bucket of chicken and, and then start spearing stuff. And you need to let me know. Okay, give me your logic of why he would throw away all that money. All right, because there are people who could only go to that show during long holiday. It's no longer going to be long holiday. So the, for the people who can't come back. All right. That because they can't get their hotel money back. And flight money back. So to come back they would have to spend for another flight and hotel. To come see the concert. All right. Give me a logical explanation. Of why Drake would cancel this concert. And then I'm going to give you my. My uh, return on the bunk. So if if you guys have, instead of just saying, oh, he don't really have it, crying emoji. All right, then then why did he cancel? Tell, you tell me, since you're his doctor or what have you, or you got inside information, tell me so I can prepare and be woke next time. All right, so let me know down in the comments. Since you guys say Drake didn't have COVID, that's not why he canceled. Let me know uh, the logic behind it. Everybody's coming out here, okay? So, um, first of all, before we get to the great song I questioned. I'm not trying to be 
shady, but why do you need 24 songwriters in one song? Right, so Diane Warren was just, you know, asking that question on Twitter, I believe. Then I think some people were saying, oh, you know, you got to credit the writers and if you sample people, this, that, and the other. I think then The weekend ended up going back and forth with her. And some people was coming at Diane Warren. Now, for a lot of people, who is this woman? So that just goes to show you need to do some research. But Diane Warren is uh, arguably the greatest songwriter that ever lived. But um, she just wanted to know that question. Then the Beehive started getting at Diane Warren. So um, <laughs> take a look at that. Let me know what you think of that. You know, she just wanted to know why is there so many songwriters? Then people started coming up with like these old tweets about her saying animals lives matter or something like that. Where, where people were trying to say she was trying to compare black people to, uh, to animals. And saying, oh, animal lives matter too, or something like that. But um, let me know what you think about that. And Khalees, um, Beyonce has removed the Khalees interpolation of Milkshake from Renaissance. So Khalees, you made a big deal out of it. Well, now Beyonce took it off and she removed her credit. <laughs> so... Uh, Dion Warren, uh, Diane Warren, uh, pretty much just the fans, and I think um, I think the Dream answered her back. And now Khalees don't have to worry about any uh, credit or any interpolation going on there because Beyonce removed it. And also, let me know down in the comments. Here is your chance. Here is your chance because when I see people say stuff, you see the difference between me and those other blogs that's got 30 and 40 and 50,000 comments, they're not going to see what you're saying. So, you know, they're not going to hold you to task and challenge you. But I need to challenge people and I want to find out and I want to hear your logic. If you say somebody, you just can't come out and say, he don't have it. Y'all ain't woke. Okay, so wake us up. You tell me why, since he doesn't have COVID, you inform me, enlighten me of why he would cancel a uh, concert that's going to hurt him. Let me know in the comments. It's your boy Heaven Hollywood for the IE Network. Please like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends, turn on that notification bell. I'll catch you on the next one.